This video was made as a visual supplement to my paper, Escape to the Pachinko Parlor, a cultural exploration of Japan's game of chance. Before undertaking this investigation, I had never before played pachinko, even though I have lived in Japan almost six years. I felt it was the perfect area for me to explore. Pachinko is literally everywhere, with over 18,000 parlors across Japan, and with annual revenues equaling 230 billion US. The focus of my report ended up being on the parlor as a gathering place, and to theorize on the reasons that so many people choose to spend their time in this way. As you can see, Pachinko is a bright, exciting, and as you will hear in a moment, noisy game. I played on three separate occasions, receiving guidance from a friend on my first visit. I won every time, so this academic pursuit actually netted me about $70, which I spent on beer and half-priced cheese at the nearby supermarket. I will leave you to watch two videos that I took while playing, to which I will add captions describing the actions that I am taking as I play the game. Finally, I'll conclude by offering my impressions of my own experience and the conclusions I have drawn regarding the game more broadly. As I reviewed my notes, I quickly realized how deep an investigation into Pachinko could go. I was forced to skip over a lot of legal, social, and cultural topics in order to focus my report. While I'm still deeply curious about the true motivation of players, particularly professional players who spend all day at the parlor, I do think I can empathize with an average player. Pachinko offers something extraordinary. It offers a conveniently located and fairly low-cost escape from the drudgery of life. And I don't mean this as an endorsement. The addictive properties of the game still scare me. Escape is the word that I keep returning to. It's the same feeling one might attain while watching an episode of American Idol and eating a bowl of ice cream. Complete deactivation of critical thinking skills and a dependent focus on a single form of mindless entertainment. I understand now why Pachinko is successful and so prevalent. In fact, I have felt a mild urge to return even after I finish my report. Let's hope if I do, I can keep winning.